Well, that just about puts the tin hat on it. Look, I can explain, or at least I can try to. It's there in black and white, woman. You had your tongue shoved down his throat. We're not blind. We'd had the odd cup of tea after hours. He, he'd been flirting with me. <laughs> well, that's no surprise. The man could flirt with a lamppost. He caught me off guard. If there was sound on that thing, you would realise that... that, that no, just stop it, Deirdre. It's pathetic. I suppose we should have known all along. Why? Was it so unthinkable that he might have loved me back? Hey, you should be thanking us. And in the nick of time as well, if this bunting's anything to go by. First, Tracy. Now this. I mean, is there no end to the depths you'll sink to? £4,000 for a kiss, 500 quid a second. Once a gigolo, always a gigolo. Does it really matter what he was? That speaks another former client. He was not a gigolo, he was an escort. It's a sorry little catchphrase, ma'am. Well, it knocks spots off some of yours. Right, come on, Excuse out. me. Yeah, take her away. Been then. giving your mother lessons, have you, Gail? Or that was a big dodge. <gasps> Gail! <gasps> Ken! Do something! Oh, what a shot! She oh. wants looking up again. This time I'll be guilty. Get off! Get off! He seduced me, Audrey. He seduced both of us. Because I meant nothing to him and neither did you. Well, you might not have paid for it, but we have. I've treated you to the most lucrative trick of his life. Yeah, that was our wedding. <laughs> My heart bleeds. I am so sorry, Audrey. Just get out. Gran, what about your money? The hundred thousand pound? What? Oh, the money, my money. David, quick, the phone. Oh, well, good luck with that. <laughs>